So we've got two C ranks and a S rank to go. My carpet. The most right fragrant away. herbs and spices. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside. She's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! <laughs> Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> Ah, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Just gotta express yourself, man. Right, that's that concluded. It's Joshua well, it's looking guy here. I see you, Joshua. Beloved. Damn it. She'll look at you in quite a different Definitely not Joshua. Right, I think that's all. And now we just have hunts left. So I need to have another look at where these hunts were. I'm telling you, it's true. I think I needed some like 405 or 415 points as well, so I'm not too far away. I might already have it, like the next. We're seeing troops in my yeah. every board. Well, no surprises there. Oh, I wasn't expecting yeah. you back, sir. So. Alright. A token. Ah, 800 ability points. Yeah, I remember that. Nice. All yours. Without that, two meter right. Yeah, this is the one that seems interesting. Come again. I may have more for ya. Palmy wants to upgrade Flames of Rebirth. <laughs> but I'm gonna master this one. And in mastering it, I'm gonna... The reason I like keeping Garuda around as well, like I could swap it overall with Titan, but I feel like... Um, the deadly like thing where you can bring down an enemy when it's halfway, that buys me so much time. And time is really important in these things, uh, in my opinion, because they really help to, like the cooldown, for example, it, when the iconic abilities are so powerful in this game. If you can, like, waste an extra three to five seconds by doing the deadly takedown stuff, then obviously that's another three to five seconds of cooldown that you kind of get for free. So I feel like it's a good idea. Um, Fuels of Karaba. I don't know where this is. This, does this mean it's somewhere where I haven't been to in the story yet? Um, the road that leads from Dalimil to the Jaw. Okay, I know that one. Fields of Korava. A fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. We've been investigating. Okay. Right. For starters, let's head back to... Dalmechia. Yeah. So there's another hunt here. Now, I can only assume if it's C rank, <laughs> it should be pretty easy, right? I want to get a feel for just damage here, just with this. Level 28. Yeah. Six levels above it. Yeah, it's a one hit KO. Okay. Yeah, I mean, compared to the normal hit. This one.
So it's the road that leads from the jaw to Daly Mill. I, I keep forgetting the name of the bloody place. What is the name? Of the, there's, so, there's too many names in this game. Daly Mill. Yes. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> For a second, I was ready to just jump off, but obviously, that would be really weird if you could just get like, you could jump off there and die just through full damage. get rid of these guys just three points here but they're pretty resilient I mean they survived well there this one we yeah, are not sure where this hunt is at the moment it's not exactly the biggest area so I feel like I've already kind of explored it all I've not had to look anything up yet for this game. Everything's been pretty easy going. Uh, but... I don't know. So I'm going to try it this way. I think this is the direction I haven't been on. Yeah. Right. How? I think this is a pretty enclosed bit, yeah. That's not the one I wanted, but... Level 33 got taken out as well. This one. Stay down. Ah, come on. Try not to get too used to just skipping past all the encounters because I don't want to over overdo that. I will say, still, I think the enemy variety is a little bit surprisingly few. I mean, like those plant things that spring to life, we've basically seen those throughout the game so far. It's just different reskins of those guys. I was expecting a little bit more on that front, I'll be honest. Um, like, it's not like disappointing, but I, I would say given like the general quality and scope of the rest of the game. I would have expected a greater variety of enemies at this point. So like a lot of like these kind of small generic enemies that we've been seeing the whole time basically. Yeah, I'm glad I mastered that ability for now. The frame rate spans out a bit there. Are we good? Yeah. Or well, maybe not. The thunderstorm broke the game. There you go. It's back to normal. There's a lot going on here. Get in the middle of these guys. No mercy. Some extra items too. Oh, girl. I think from here I'm going to push on to try and uh, upgrade my flames of the phoenix. I think it's basically a limit break. Alright, mark these guys for death. Over 
But nowadays I still like watching these crazy moves. Right, we must be close to the hunt now. So there's a lot more to this area than I thought. We still haven't fully explored it all. There's all of this stuff too. Titan's Wake. The Gilded Path. We must come down here for some part of the story, I guess, as well. I doubt they're having all of this extra just purely for side quests that's totally missable, but I don't know. All right. Still not this. I'm just going to clean house here. Oh, okay, it is this. Yeah. So I am going to just use the... Phoenix Flame to clear out what I can and then we'll take on. Playtime for the pack, is it? Let me introduce you to mine. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Oh, new enemies. Okay. So they're not giving it to you that easy. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Good job, Toggle Man. Who needs Shiva anyway? So I guess the goal here is to not get overwhelmed. go beast mode like that, it's just hard to keep up with what's going on. Okay, let's go. No. How is none of those a precision dodge? Let's give it one of these. Give him a takedown. Alright, gotta be careful now when it does big shit like that. This should knock it into a nice stagger. And like again, I have another limit break right now if I want it. And I have nothing to enhance that. There you go, finally landed one of those. And it's just like, what's the point of sitting on a on a limit break? There's just no point. So it seems like if you want upgrades, it should be one of the first things you upgrade fully. There's almost nothing to lose from it. Just love whether the white's just doing like crazy damage alongside. But let's finish it. Honestly, Thunderstorm probably doing just as much damage the most. For a C rank though, it's put up a good fight, I have to say.
Ah, just got away. Nice. So I guess that means like a certain amount of hunts completed gets you that, maybe. Oh, nice. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, was it, Toggle? Yeah, I mean, I was never in any danger, really, but for a C rank, it definitely put up a good fight. It wasn't like a... It wasn't easy by any means. All right, we have one more C rank, I think, and then we are done. Then, obviously, we just have S rank guy. Uh, near an abandoned village in the fields of Korava. Empty hovel down my here. So this must be the other part of it that I haven't seen. Yeah, okay. So let's go back the way we came. Or actually, I can carry on. Ah, okay. Let's have a look at this. I mean, there might be a chest or an item or something. Magic Ash. We haven't had any fallen enemies to fight for a long time. They just made like a random appearance at, at some point. They seemed like they were going to be more common in the story. Then they kind of vanished again. I don't know. Okay, so we're at a crossroads. I'm going to take this one first. I'm not sure which one it actually wants. I'm going to try and avoid these if I can. Is this a dead end? No. Oh, wow. Wait. It opens up to this? Holy shit. Okay, this is a way big area than I thought. Damn. But you see what I mean? Like, I would have liked, again, find, like, okay, you've got one big enemy where Clive's head is, but I would have liked to see some, like, truly beastly stuff around here. Like, this is a big open plane. Like, you can have enemies, like, three times the size of that just roaming around here. I think that would have been really cool. Like, there could be a Morval here. Something like that. I don't know. I know they need water, but something of that scale, I feel like, would be very normal to have around here. Uh, Empty. Yeah, this is the place I needed to go. I'm going to focus on the hunt. I do feel like the story is going to take us here, so I'm not going to... Trying to fight everything for now. Bit more to the left. Okay, there's something there. I think that might be it. Oh, it's a curl. So the curl's just chilling here. There's just a random encounter. Yeah, okay. No That's nice. Back. Stagger runs out. They're not quite able to take him out in one stagger yet. At times it's so fast, it's hard to kind of almost realize what's going on. You autopilot it. It's like I'm not completely button spamming here. It's definitely not that. You get into this like weird groove slash autopilot where you just you fight completely on instinct, and that's kind of fun. Like it, it, it that's that's part of to me what makes the the gameplay definitely fun. But it it does for for the way that I play and what I like, it still lacks a bit of that kind of. I still prefer to just slow it down a bit more, pick moves, be a bit more strategic. That's just how I've I've always enjoyed it. So I think that's why for me, no matter how fun the gameplay gets, I just can't see it getting to the same level as my favorites, in terms of the gameplay at least. 
And that's fine. I mean, it's something that I was pretty much aware of before I ever started playing the game. So I didn't exactly come in with amazing expectations that this is going to be my favorite gameplay of the series. But I can definitely see that depending on what games you play outside of Final Fantasy and what it is about the Final Fantasy games that you do like that um, that you enjoy. Like for some people, the gameplay really is just a means to an end that they don't really care too much. Um, but for me, I really am one of those people that for the gameplay is definitely part of the experience of me for Final Fantasy. Okay, well, I think you guys know what I'm going to do here. You already know. It, but it hasn't recharged yet, actually. So, the problem here is I don't think it has any AoE, yeah. Yeah, that didn't go so well. It's a bit of a weak start here. Yeah, this is what I want to do. But they're still holding on well. Credit where it's due. Like, I gave him fl Flames of the Phoenix. I gave him a punishment move. I'm sicking him. I'm doing everything. In general, they're, they're not a threat. I mean, we'll be fine. This one. And then give him one of these. Nice. And another thing in general, I think, is that when you are fighting, uh, one thing that keeps it from being too overwhelming and too difficult is the fact that Peace at last. the other enemies are very passive in terms of attacking you. So like, there's a whole swarm of things there, and I, I basically end up not really taking a hit the entire fight. Even when you're focusing on one enemy for like 10 seconds, you basically don't get hit uh, a lot of times. And so it'd be extremely unforgiving and a lot more difficult. I wonder if like Final Fantasy mode is different in that sense. And there are no, like you've got to be on your toes all the time. Like you land, you can spend one or two seconds focusing on something, you have to be dodging immediately um, and stuff like that. But I don't know. For my run so far at least, you've seen it like in that particular battle. They spend way too much time just kind of watching and staring as you um, as you take out the other enemies. But as I said very early on, I think what what the game is good at is just making you feel like you're good at it, and I think that's really important for for these kinds of games because that's part of where the thrill comes from. It, it it is like if you feel like you're you're good at the game and you're skilled and you're just, you know, taking out enemies, and that's a lot of the satisfaction comes from that. If you're constantly being hit, and you're missing dodges, and you're being frustrated, and you're getting game overs all the time, unless you, you really do come from that kind of gameplay style, and you enjoy that kind of thing, which might not be the case for a lot of Final Fantasy players, um, it's a good way to keep people invested and enjoying. Like, you might not say it's the best battle system you've played, I but I, I feel like there's very few people who have said it's not fun. Basically, no one I've spoken to has said, oh, the battle system's not fun. It is it definitely fun. It's, uh, it's definitely a ride. And that already, to me, makes it like way better than, say, 15 system. 15 system, to me, wasn't really fun at all. And so I'm generally positive on the on the battle system for the game as well. If I don't okay. Want to my Where's my airship? All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. 
And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest <laughs> ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Okay. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. Uh full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make head nor tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. <laughs> okay, fair play mid. I mean, I'm not getting an airship, but at least making some kind of ship like that for the party to, to travel in. I can dig that. That's really cool. So it's, it's still not quite the, the fantasy level for having like airships, but this I'll take. This is this is good enough. And well, technically we are literally in a giant airship right now. And of course they've gone to like, they've taken a lot of care in terms of how they name stuff as well. The Enterprise is obviously a, an airship name from the Final Fantasy series. I forget which one again. These days, I play through so many of them now. <laughs> the airship names are very tough for me. I just know the Fahrenheit and the Celsius, of course, from 10, from 10 to. The Enterprise might be Final Fantasy IV, but not in sure. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? Hell oh, with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself the arse sake. <laughs> Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Mid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with.
Yeah, this is the kind of thing where it's, you know, I mentioned before about like sometimes main quest lines feel like side quests. This one's one of those, but I like this one, like the, the premise and the setup, the fact that we obviously, there's a barrier preventing us from kind of, because obviously there's still a lot of big travel that we need to do if we want to get to, um, you know, these areas, we're going to, we would definitely benefit from a serious ship. And so needing that and being able to put it together, um, I, don't, I don't mind that stuff. That's fine. But what do we decide here? You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Ah. It's got to be Gav. Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this Stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Right then. Off to the Velcro. So now that obviously Dalmechia is introduced as a region, we are spending more time there, which is good. Let's just go here. So we've got all the quests and hunts out of the way, at least we can now fully focus on this until a new bunch of quests appear. <laughs>